This video is about why you should visit Rio for the first time in Brazil. So I'm trying a new format, walking tours with the voiceover stuff, educational content. My channel has been going through different phases. It used to be walking tours only exclusively, a little bit of the lives, but I want to go directly into the lives. But in order to do that, I need to have growth. So I'm switching up the format, trying new things, so bear with me guys. So today I'm gonna talk about the many reasons why you should consider Rio de Janeiro as your first trip to Brazil. So here's my few uh, anecdotal points per se. So number one, culture. You know, Rio is a city that's really rich, it's full of diverse, diversity, um, it's influences from indigenous, African, and European traditions. You know, it's, it's known for its lively music, dance, samba, art scene, as well as its colorful and vibrant street life. Like for example, you will be able to live in, in Rio and do something brand new every single day in six months, and you'll still have more things to do. There's so many things you can do. It's kind of similar to New York in a sense where there's always some things that pops up. It's always like pop-up shops, always some new events that's coming out. So it's hustling and bustling and vibrant in that aspect. Then if you look at the natural beauty of Rio, you could be on the beach and you could see the mountainous. It's almost fake. It's almost like Jurassic Park. It's almost like you're in a movie, you're in a movie set or something. Yeah, you know, Rio's home is some of the most beautiful natural landscapes in Brazil. And I and I say this because I'm not really a nature person, but until I came to Brazil, I became a nature person. I'm not even a beach person. And there was only a few beaches that, like Australia or Brazil, that pretty much made me a believer of beaches. So I have to thank Rio. I have to tip my hat off to Rio. Now, if you think about iconic Christ Redeemer statue, which overlooks the city, um, from most points, you could be in a restaurant in a favela, and you can see it from there. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's it's a romantic. I mean, people say Paris or France is a romantic city. I feel like Rio is too to me. You know, this city is surrounded by stunning beaches, and it's located in the midst of the tropical rainforest. Now, if you let's talk about food. Now, if you look at the food, Rio has very delicious and a very culinary scene. Now, I say this because every time I travel somewhere, I always lose weight. But for some reason, with Rio, I either maintain or I put on weight, more weight, more muscle mass. I get stronger in the gym. So, you know, you go to the you go to the beach. Everybody's fit. Everybody's working out. It's a big fitness culture. I love it. I love the workout. And if I were to live in Rio, I know I would get in better shape than I am now. And that's even, that's saying a lot because I already work out a lot anyway. So you can find anything from traditional Brazilian dishes. You can find a big international cuisine and fusion scene here. Now, let's talk about the nightlife. Now, I can't really say I know a lot about the nightlife, but because I do the podcast, I was doing the podcast at night and I will bring those back. But Rio is known for its lively nightlife and they have a lot, a range of bars like Bella Monte, Casa Black and Madureira, um, Bada de Jajuca. You have a live music venue scene. You can walk around the, co um, the boardwalk and you see live bands playing. You know, I ran into Negro do Barrel a few times and he's like one of the biggest artists and I didn't even know that. He was one of the biggest artists. And called us, he sings that song, Corda Song. So whether you want to dance the night away or you want to just relax, have a um, caprihina, you have plenty of options in Rio de Janeiro. I mean, overall, the culture, the, the, the nature, the food, the nightlife, you have a lot of reasons to, to visit um, Rio de Janeiro. Now, like, for example, Christ the Redeemer. 
I don't know if this is considered the seventh wonder of the world, but this iconic statue is one of the most famous landmarks in Brazil. And I'm telling you right now, it's a must see. You, 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 on your first week, you gotta go see it because when I go back, I wanna see it again. Well, I wanna document it in a different way. Cause I, I was talking to my buddy of mine when we were up there. Now also, as, as stated in this video, the beautiful beaches. Rio has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And I try to cover a few of them on this channel, including Copacabana, Ipanema. That goes without saying. The vibrant nightlife Rio's known for is, you know, different range of live, live venues, as I said it before. You got the food, you have the dance scene. You can go to a club and, you know, I've heard, I've, I haven't experienced this yet because I haven't been to an actual club, you know, but I heard, you know, there's a big kissing culture here. Um, people just love to have fun. I don't, I don't really see it as a culture of people. You go to a spot and, and people are just wall, wallflowers. I don't really see that happening. Um, and I do want to do that hike where, you know, that famous spot, if somebody in the comment let me know, it's where people take photos and it's like kind of like a cliff and you're hanging off a cliff, and I found out there's actually just, it's not, you're not falling off a cliff, it's actually a, a platform underneath it. Really cool. So, you know, Rio has stunning natural beauty. Um, they have a very colorful, if you go to Lapa, they have a very colorful street art and graffiti. Um, Rio is home to a vibrant street art scene, graffiti scene, um, and you'll see You'll see this on a lot of YouTubers' uh, videos, especially during Carnival. You know, all the colors come out. People wear their colors and stuff. That's going to be great. I'm definitely going to document that this year. Um, they have a very rich culture. Uh, you have um, samba. You have funk. You have, uh, what's, what's that? Karate. Uh, capoeira. I definitely want to do it. I want to hit up a capoeira spot. So you have all these really cool influences. Um, you have a great opportunity to learn about Brazilian history, do it. Uh, Rio, it's a home of a number of museums. I'm definitely gonna um, check out museums and historical sites. Uh, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna put that into this show or on this channel, because I wanna focus more on the lives. But uh, maybe I'll put that on Locals. Uh, I'll put all that stuff on Locals. And I'll put my dating experiences on Locals.com because I realize I mean, a lot of people really don't care about the historical stuff. And if they do, it's a very small minority. Um, it's a great place to learn about Brazilian history and culture at Rio. And, and then last but not least, the, the friendly locals. Brazilians, you know, they're very warm and friendly. You can go to the beach and you can just talk to everybody. Uh, you can see a pretty girl at the beach and you can just go up to her and talk to her, have a conversation, exchange numbers. You can actually go on a date with her later on that day. You can actually disconnect and kiss her in a matter of 10 minutes. It's just the way the culture is. You know, you you if you go there, you'll find out what I'm saying is particularly true. The locals are always happy to share their city with the visitors and make them feel welcome. But anyway, guys, this is basically... Why you should choose Rio as your first visit when you go to Rio, uh, Brazil. Um, so you heard it here first. And make sure you like, comment, share. Let's let's make this channel grow because I'm doing a lives. And, you know, not a lot of people are showing up because, you know, that's my fault. This, this channel was a walking tour channel. But I'm pivoting into lives. I'm going to have the people on lives. And I want some engagements. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a dating show and all that stuff happening it's gonna be very engagement and i'm counting on you guys to be in the, in those chats and engaging so enjoy it and rest enjoy and rest of the uh walking tour and uh y'all take it easy